Hello, everyone. This is the most magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I'm back at it with another character review. And this character review will be on the brand new Gold Mythic James character that just came into the game a couple of hours ago at the time of this recording. And before we get started, please like the video if you like it and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and share the video. I would very much appreciate it. And I hope all of you are doing good and I hope you're staying safe as well. I'm doing good and I'm staying safe as well and yeah let's not waste any more time let's uh, go ahead and get into this character review shall we James road to survival his trait is strong his role is a tank and his allegiance is a member of the road to survival Let's take a look at his stats. His attack stat is 12,288. His defense stat is 35,110. And his HP is 40,376. Now let's take a look at his adrenaline rush. Stop dead. The recharge rate is 55 AP. So that's a little bit faster than most gold mythics. Give one enemy 250% infection for two turns and revive one teammate with 100% of their max HP plus one infection and revive and revive target if this fighter has less than 25% of their max HP this fighter and one other teammate get 25% halo for one turn okay so his adrenaline rush puts me in the mind of gold mythic bite I hope I'm saying his name right, but he's part of the new Old California Allegiance. He's the uh, strong defensive tune that also gives out infection and also receives it. He kind of reminds me of that, but not on that large of a scale. So, the fact that James is giving one enemy 250% infection for two turns... Plus, he's going to be reviving a teammate with 100% of their max HP if they're down. That's going to be a really good thing on your defense team. And obviously, that's going to be really annoying to come up against. Especially since he has a certain specialist skill, which we will get to. But let's not jump ahead just yet. Plus... He's going to uh, deliver one infection and revive a target if he has less than 25% of their of his max HP. And he's also, James and one other teammate will get 25% Halo for one turn. To be honest, the Halo could have been a higher percentage I mean it's still possible that he could come back up but I, I don't know I would have if I were making up this adrenaline rush instead of 25% I would have at least done 50% halo instead of 25 I would have done at least 50 even 75% halo I honestly don't think that would have been too crazy, but 
the 25% halo is pretty is on the pretty low end but it's still very possible for him to come back overall other than the low percentage of the halo I really don't have any problems with this adrenaline rush it's gonna be really good for you and really annoying to come up you know for your for an enemy opposing team to come up against your defense if you put him on whatever defense team that you put James on if you decide to go for him now let's go ahead and take a look at his signature move remove the threat the initial cooldown is turn one two turns for the cooldown and number of uses unlimited remove all positive status effects from a line of the enemies while on the d oh, excuse me i can't talk tonight while on the defense team this line of teammates recovers from all negative effects this fighter and one other teammate get 100 percent decapitation resistance for two turns three other teammates get guardian shields okay so he's going to be uh removing all positive status effects from a line of enemies which depending on the particular line of enemies you're depending on the particular line of enemies you're aiming for that can be really really good or it can be you know good it, it depends on who's in that line in that particular setup so you got to think about that plus when it says this line of teammates recovers from all negative effects i'm assuming it means whatever line james is on i'm you know and again that could be a really good thing depending on what the negative effects are and also you know is let, let's just say infection is about to kill James I don't know I'm just using that as an example and you use the signature move oh it's gonna get rid of that that'll be a really good thing for James and the and the defense team well not just the defense team but it's only gonna be good for that particular line so but like say what if on the other line there's a tune that has infection and James is on the complete opposite end like he's on the completely other line there's like a, a negative aspect to that but it's mostly good plus this fighter and one other teammate will get 100 percent decapitation resistance for two turns obviously that's going to be really good that means that they won't be able to be decapitated at least for those two turns and three other teammates will get guardian shields which obviously guardian shields can definitely be annoying for sure so it's definitely a good thing again for him being a defensive tank tune I don't really see any overwhelmingly negatives so the adrenaline rush and signature move are pretty good I would say so let's take a look at his mythic abilities strength 40% critical hit resistance not gonna really spend a whole lot of time talking about this one yes I would go ahead and level that one up as you will be able to get the best mo most use out of James as you should be leveling up strength with any and all of your tank tunes if you have however many tank tunes that you happen to have you should be leveling that up anyway on any of them so yeah level that one up no alarm at the start of each wave all alert enemies get attack up block 
and minus 50% attack for two turns. I mean, okay, so obviously we know that alert, let me say that, let me say that the other way around. We know that strong is alerts, you know, alert tunes can very easily take out strong tunes as alert tunes are strong tunes number one weakness pretty much they can do that trait damage right so the fact that at the start of each wave all alert all alert enemies get attack up block and minus 50 percent attack for two turns you know those two turns are going to be pretty crucial if you level up no alarm so i would definitely level this one up because it will further make James that more a bit annoying when it comes to, you know, alert tunes. Let's see, who do we have that is alert right now? Let's let's think of the really good ones. Uh, Danny, uh, Lethal Lydia, um, They Who Wonder. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to think of some really good ones. Lily Cole, Saint saint patty's day rosita those are just examples that i can think of off the top of my head you know they can do some pretty good damage right and if those enemies are gonna have attack up block and minus 50 percent attack for those two turns they might not they won't be able to do their full potential damage as if they they were going to be able to do if those negative penalties are against them so go ahead and level that one up for sure tempered mastery at the start of each wave and turn 100 percent chance to remove focus from two control roll enemies and camouflage from two damage roll enemies Okay, so, oh man, here we go. First, first it was Regina. She's pretty much putting a halt to people like Danny. Now, Eva and Ghost. And I'm trying to think, is Danny a damage dealer? I know I did a character review on him, but he might be a pure damage dealer. But I, he could be control. But the point is, I know for sure Eva and Ghost is a control role tune. So if you come up, if you know you're going to come up against those Eva and Ghost tunes, or I'm just going to say Danny is control right now, but I'll know for sure after I get done with this. But anyway, the point is. Not only does Regina soft counter Eva and Ghost, James is going to do the same thing because, like it says, 100% chance at the start of each wave and turn, he's going to have a 100% chance to remove focus from two control roll enemies. And as we know... Eva and Ghost has camouflage and focus for the rest of combat. I know that pretty well because, I mean, I use her all the time, so how could I not know that, right? And just like uh, the plague with rats, I'm going to try to avoid this tune once people start pulling for him. Because I don't see why people wouldn't pull for him. He would be a pretty great addition to any defensive team. And also he's removing he's removing camouflage from two damage roll enemies, which is going to be That's gonna be really good and that's gonna make him really annoying. So tempered mastery, I would level up for sure all the way. Worry Wisdom, I don't know if I said that right, but whatever, we're moving on. All teammates get 20% defense, and all strong teammates get 20% HP. 
Okay, so this is uh, pretty interesting. So all teammates are going to get 20% defense automatically. So that's going to add to everybody's defensive stat. And all strong teammates are going to get 20% HP, which... Okay, 20% doesn't sound like a whole lot, but you got to think of certain defensive tunes that have high HP or have high defense already. If you add James to that team and you have a mix of just, say, strong and alert defensive tunes on one team and you add James to that, I mean, it doesn't specifically say all alert teammates get defense. It's just all teammates get that extra defense. But that's going to be pretty good, honestly. So I would go ahead and level that one up. Honestly, there isn't a bad mythic ability at all. So I would level up all of them for sure. So let's take a look at his specialist skill, which is a pretty famous one. <laughs> Outlast, when this specialist is defeated, their death is delayed for one turn during which they may still take an action and receive 100% AP. Now, I kind of hinted, like, when I was talking about his adrenaline rush, about how, like, you know... It's going to be really annoying. His Adrenaline Rush alone is already annoying. But you add to you add Outlast to the equation. I mean, like, you can kiss that attack team pretty much goodbye. I can maybe kind of see why they decided to only give him 20% or 25% Halo. Uh, because Outlast is, you know, it's pretty powerful enough. And say, if e even even if that 25% Halo does not proc, that's pretty much going to screw the opposing team already. Unless, unless James is stunned, impaired, or normalized. So... That would be kind of the only ways to counter Outlast, which there are ways of countering Outlast, but how how difficult is it actually going to be to take James down? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't really need to elaborate any further on Outlast, on how annoying it is, like... There's still Vance's Easter Jesus, like, you know, in a certain predicament, both of them can be annoying. He's just going to be another one added to that list. Now, it looks like he has a special weapon, so let's go ahead and take a look at his weapon. James's Robust Stop Sign, 40% defense, 40% HP. Perfected Cleanse. Remove one negative effect from this fighter at the start of every turn. Damage Reduction Debilitated. When being attacked by an enemy with a debilitating status effect, reduce damage taken by 50%. Okay, so... The way I would go about this weapon is you could go one of three ways and you can't go wrong with any of the three. I would try to aim for, depending on if you want to go more so on, if you want to work on the defense, then go for 55% defense. Or if you want to go, if you want to work more so on the HP, go for 55% defense, or you could try to go for 50 defense, 50 HP, which honestly that wouldn't be a bad idea. 
yeah, you should be able to do, yeah, you should be able to do, if you wanted to even it out, 50 defense, 50 HP, there wouldn't be nothing wrong with that. Or you could go all in on one or the other or go even on both of them because perfected cleanse. So he's going to remove one negative effect at the start of every uh, at the start of every turn, which like, you know, if he wasn't already annoying enough. The possibility of trying to stun him, he'll cleanse that. That reminds me of uh, Pizza Boy Glenn, or, or whatever his name is, the alert one that came out, what, a couple of months ago? He kind of reminds me of that right there. And plus, damage reduction debilitated. So, whenever he's attacked by an enemy with a debilitating status effect, he's going to reduce that damage by 50%, which, I mean, he's already going to be a pain in the ass to take down, so, I mean, I don't really know why you would mess with the third and fourth slot, so, like I said, if you want to go all in on the defense, 55% defense, if you want to go all in on HP, 55 HP, or if you want to even it out, you can go 50% defense, 50% HP. You can't go wrong with any of those three because maybe you have better defensive mods or maybe you have better HP mods. Who knows? So it all depends on what your situation and you know, what your mods are looking like, so, so overall, I mean, I, I like his look, and I like the animation that he's doing right there with the stop sign, and I'm trying to think, is there any other weapons right now that could work with him other than his base weapon, because, I mean, his base weapon is already very good, so, I don't... I don't know. I'm not sure. But I don't think I have much else to say on Gold Mythic James. I'm personally not going to be pulling for him just because, like I've stated in previous videos, with when it when it comes to the advanced mythic tokens and the ultra mythic tokens. I like to have a safety net of 300,000 at least before I want to go all in on a character. I mean, I know, like, who wants to do 30 pulls, but with Scopely's BS, I mean, I rarely have gotten lucky. And that way, if I don't get lucky and I have the 300,000, I'll be good. And I'm sure a lot of you probably kind of get where I'm coming from on that. But, um, so yeah, I won't be pulling for him. And, um, that's pretty much all I got for you guys for today. What are your thoughts on Gold Mythic James? Do you think he's going to be really good? And do you think he's going to be really annoying? And are you going to pull for him... And if you have pulled for him, how how are you liking him so far? And if you are not going to pull for him, let me know why. And if you have any other thoughts on Gold Mythic James or RTS in general, please feel free to let me know down in the comments. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and for your continued support or if you're new, welcome in for the first time. All of you are very awesome, and I thank you again. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buck Beak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.